What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in this episode right here, guys, well, we got some stuff to do. We're going to be going into Determinus Cave because, uh, well, there is a specific item that I kind of want over there. In fact, uh, we could have already gotten it like a while back, but I decided, that, you know what, let's go, with, let's go the long way. Let's go right ahead and have a little fun, and yes, why not? Let's just get attacked by Pokemon as well, so, yeah. Now, in this episode, we have two or three Pokemon coming back. Uh, or, yeah, two Pokemon making uh, their return onto our team, just because, well, we kind of want to do some stuff right here. And, no, we do not want to take on the horde of Geodudes right here, so, yeah. We probably need to put on a po or a repel or something like this. Let's see. Where's the repels? Uh, there you go. Max repels. And, well, let's see. Let's go right here and get the rock smash. And the first person back up. Hey, say hello to Sharptooth. How's it going, buddy? It's been a while. And, well, look at that. We got ourselves a hard stone. It will actually help us out with our rock type Pokemon. And let's go again. Another, uh, another rock smash right here. Nothing. And just make sure to keep on looking everywhere, guys, because you will be finding, you will try, or you will be able to find some cool stuff with the Rock Smash technique. And, uh, well, let's see, there's a Pokemon trainer right here. If I defeat you, I'm going back, or I'm going to head home and uh, bake some cookies. What? Seriously? That is hilarious. Okay, so here we are taking on Black Belt Giannis. And, well, he's going to be coming out with his good old uh, sock or punch or throw. No, it's sock. Okay, Sue, so, evil bacon, let's go. Oblivion wing. Favorite move in the world right there. And there you go. Sock has been defeated. Oh, man, it is it is unfair using this Pokemon, but I do not care. And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Pangoro. Let's go ahead and use an oblivion wing yet again. And that right there will take away the soul of Pangoro. Yes. Feeling great, feeling fantastic. And, well, there's more experience points where that came from. And Giannis, well, looks like he's going to have to stay because he won't be able to make any cookies or something. Or muffins or whatever. Anywho, grab this. We're going to find ourselves an X defense. And, well, let's go straight into the cave right here. There are three entrances, and just be aware that you will be able to find some items around here, guys. So, this entrance is, well, just going to lead us to the item at hand, and I just... Wait, how do we get there? Huh. Nothing. Oh, yeah, right here. Grab this. We found ourselves a dragon scale. This can be used to evolve a horse, or not a horsey, but a Seedra, which, as many of you guys already know, I'm probably going to be doing that sometime soon. And, uh, let's see. We do need the cut technique for this particular situation. So, let's see if I have a Pokemon that can learn that. Let's see. Cut. Okay, so, since we are not, we're not going to be using Nova for very long, let's go ahead and teach it cut. And, uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and take away Bulldoze for right now. Alrighty, so there you go. It's learned cut and Now what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be going right here. Actually, let's go back to the bridge Because there is an area right here where you need to cut and then there will be a Well a half pipe or something like that that you'll be able to go to so here we go using the cut technique and Let's go right here and here. We're gonna be finding ourselves a walk and berry that right there is always great. And going down this pipe, we're going to be finding ourselves a PP up. And there you go. Okay, so there's that. So now what we're going to be doing right here is we're going to be going towards the entrance and seeing what we can find. It is going, there are going to be quite a few trainers around here, guys. So keep, make sure to keep uh, some healing items, some a lot of repels because there will be a lot of Pokemon right here that are going to want to battle you. Now, Another thing, uh, later on into your adventure right here, guys, you will be able to find yourself a legendary Pokemon. 
a legendary Pokemon that you probably should uh they, they probably should have made a third game out of. I don't know. I'm just saying. But yeah, there's gonna be a Pokemon here that you'll you'll be able to find after the Pokemon League. So just be aware of all that. And well, here we are. Huh? What are you looking at? But I'm uh I'm gonna make you help me work if you lose. Or yeah. Okay, well, all right, let's see. So here we go, taking on worker Narek. That is a that is an odd name right there, Narek. Who comes up with these, these names? I want to know. Okay, so let's go right ahead and use a psychic attack right here. And well, there you go. Psychic attack does its trick, and everybody's getting points, including Star Fox. And well, Star Fox wants to learn Fire Blast. Let's see. Should I or should I not? You know what? I still like the I still like the old moves, flamethrower and all that stuff. I don't want to like lose accuracy for power and all that stuff. That's just me. I prefer to be very accurate. So there we go. Everybody else getting some points. And here he comes out with a graveler. So let's go right ahead and use Sharp Tooth for the first time in like how long? And so here comes Sharp Tooth. How's it going, buddy? It's been a while. All right, Narek, using a level 47 Sharp 2 or a Graveler. And, well, let's go ahead and use a Rock Smash attack, since we do have it. And that right there is super effective. And here comes a Self-Destruct attack. And it hits us, but it doesn't defeat us. So Sharp Tooth right there wins its first battle in, like, how many episodes? And, well, he's going to be coming out with a Golem. So let's go right ahead and keep that going. And, well, the likelihood of this golem trying to uh, trying to use self-destruct is going to be hilarious. So, here we go. And that will lower its defense. And here comes a stealth rock. So, yeah, we're not going to be switching out Pokemon. So, let's just continue on with the, with the rock smash attack right here. And there we go. That's a little more HP. And here comes an earthquake attack. That's going to hurt us. And, well... Sharp Tooth has been defeated. Let's go right ahead and switch out to our good old buddy Jordan the Goat. Alrighty. And well, yeah, we're gonna get hit by the we're gonna get hit by the stones. So let's go right ahead and use a revive. Get this sharp tooth going. Uh, wake him up. Get him some points. And here comes a bulldoze attack. And that doesn't work out. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go right ahead. Horn Leech. Get some HP, you know. And there you go. Golem defeated. And everybody else gets some experience points. That's the beauty part about this game right here, guys, where you can do that. Some people say it's cheap. And look at this. Sharp Tooth grows another level, and it's learning Thrash. Wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and take away Rock Smash. It... Maybe, like, we may not need it. Probably, I don't know. And, well, Narek has been defeated. And, well, let's go ahead and move on to the next the next thing right here. Now, again, search your surroundings. You will be able to find a lot of items around here, guys. And, oh, yeah, Rock Smash. You gotta love it. Okay. Actually, Rock Smash. Okay, uh, I could go to Blade. Let's see, Blade. Please tell me that you know a move that I can replace. Crap. Huh. Yes, uh... I'm not gonna teach... Yeah, I'm not gonna teach Jordan that. What if... Okay, let's go back to Sharp Tooth and see what, what move we can take away. Uh, let's see, should replace? Yes. Okay, so... We do have Dragon Claw. You know what? Let's go ahead and take away Dragon Claw. We, we're we not really going to be using this Pokemon very much, but we can always replace its move. That way, you know, we can keep on using it. So, yeah, that was pretty dumb of me of uh, replacing this and that, you know. So, there we go. And there we go. We found ourselves a big pearl. And here we are. We're going to be finding another item. And this is a Heat Rock. Which, if you guys don't know, a heat rock right here 
it's one of the few rocks that uh, what was it uh, expands or extends the the longevity the longevity of any weather based moves. In this case, it's going to be sunny day. So here we go, taking on another another one of these people right here, hiker Aaron, and he is going to be coming out with his ride on. Holy buckets! All right, so let's go with Star Fox, and uh, hopefully we don't lose. All right, so here we go, psychic. For the win. And there you go. Right on has been defeated. Okay. All righty. And Evil Bacon keeps on growing levels, including Nova, especially since we replaced it in the last episode. And, well, let's see. What is next? What is the next thing? Okay. So we're going to be going right here. Again, there's going to be some more trainers around this area. So before we do anything, guys, there is an item that I want to grab, and that is this. Found ourselves an escape rope, which, yes, I'm going to try and use after this whole thing. And we're going to be battling this guy. And let's see what ends up happening right here. Okay, so here we go. Hiker Bergen. And here he's going to be coming out with... A rock and roller or rock and or a bulldor, yeah. Bulldor. So here we go. Bulldor, take this. Take this psychic attack and well. Holy crud, alrighty. Holy crud. So it survived with its sturdy and well it's gonna be using Yes, it's gonna be using South Rock right here. So I I, I don't think I need well, I can't switch. Wonder if you switch it with a rock type Pokemon or something. And there you go. So, Star Fox getting some more points. And here comes a Steelix. Yeah, this really puts me in a, in a bind. So, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go straight for Jordan the Goat. And, well, let's see. Jordan the Goat taking on uh, Steelix. And, of course, we're going to get hit by uh, those Stealth Rocks. So, let's go straight for a Surf Attack right here. And... Nearly defeats this guy, but here's a sturdy. Oh my god. And, well, that move is going to hit us pretty hard, but guess what? We got Leaf Blade for the win, I think. Yeah, it's not super effective. And there you go. Alrighty, so welcome to the level 60 club. Jordan the Goat, and it's learning Earthquake. Holy crud. Okay, so we... Yeah, we're going to have to replace Horn Leech because, yeah, that right there is a very, very important move. And, well, Bergen has been defeated. Alrighty. Alrighty, so let's see. Let's see what we can find right here. Uh, oh, nearly, I nearly jumped that one. Actually, you know what? We need to do that. So let's go right here. One, two, and three, and this one will lead us to where, well, obviously, we picked up that one item. So, again, don't get too confused around here, guys. There's going to be a lot of uh, ins and outs and all that stuff. Just make sure you have a lot of repels, and then you'll be fine. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon right here. And here we are getting attacked by a Noivern, or not a Noivern, but a Noibat. This Pokemon right here was at the top of my list for having dragon type pokemon but then i saw how like i saw how it was used and uh, honestly it really didn't uh yeah honestly it, it, it really didn't impress me because it's like you would think that this pokemon would be a little bit stronger especially with the speed it's kind of like the crobat of uh of dragon type pokemon but it has moved like that that it's just it, it's it's just a bummer so Let's see if we can try and capture this Pokemon. There we go. And unfortunately, Sharp Tooth got his ass kicked. Uh, we'll kick butt. Alrighty. So let's go ahead and move on and keep on taking on some trainers. I think I've already been down here. So let's go right here, talk to this guy, and let's go. Alrighty, so here we go, taking on Dimitri, and he will be coming out with an octil uh, Octillery, so this is a first. And, well, there we go. Let's go right ahead and use a Psychic Attack and see if we cannot, uh, <laughs> see if we can't get, uh, can't get defeated by this dude right here. And, well, 
Holy crud. What the hell? What, 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 what kind of bubbles are these? Holy crud. Alrighty, so... Again, Psychic Attack. Let's get it for the win. And just like that, we have defeated an Octillery. What now? And... Well... Man, that's a pretty that's a pretty easy battle right there. Okay, so let us move on. And uh, before we go anywhere, let's let's go right ahead and use a let's go ahead and use a rocks a rock smash and see what, what else we can find. Of course, we're gonna get attacked by a Pokemon. Good gravy. And well, we're gonna get attacked by a Graveler. The mission is to try and find that stone that will help our Pokemon evolve. And, well, let's see. Is there anything right here? Maybe. And there we go. We found ourselves a Moonstone. Uh, unfortunately, that is not the move that, or that is not the stone that we wanted. So let's go right here. And where will this lead us? Uh, oh, yeah. It won't lead us anywhere. Lead us right back to where we started, I think. Probably. So here we go. Rock Smash. And here we found ourselves an ether. And let's see. Nothing right here. Okay, so right here down this narrow bridge. And you will be finding yourself a star piece. And from there, I don't think you can go anywhere. Probably. I don't even know. So let's go right here. And uh, let's see. I think this might lead us to another entrance, exit, or something like that. Yeah, let's put on another repel just in case. Uh, that's uh, just in case that's the thing. Um, is this the exit or entrance? And no, this is the entrance. Okay, so we need to go back. <laughs> we went backwards right here, guys. And um, again, getting attacked by Pokemon. You gotta love that. And. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Area dose. Let's go right ahead and move on from here. We do not want to battle them. And well, let's see. We've already done that. Let's go right here and find our way back into where we were supposed to go. I did... Oh, wow. So, obviously, repels do not work for that. Good gravy. And, well, we're going to be taking on a Noivern yet again. And... Let's go right ahead and just capture it real real quickly. Let, uh, let's use a Quick Ball, since it is a very fast Pokemon. And hopefully this, like, one turn can do it. There's one. There's two. There's three. I am throwing out the peace sign right now. Yes! Okay, so we caught ourselves a Noivern. That Pokemon, it, it, like I said, it was on the list of Pokemon that I wanted to use in this adventure, but turns out it was a dud. And well, there it is, the Soundwave Pokemon, flying and dragon type. Even a robust wrestler will become dizzy and unable to stand when exposed to its 200,000 hertz ultrasonic waves. Funny enough, guys, with this Pokemon and its evolution, there were the talks of the sound type Pokemon that many people were having a rumor of, especially when the fairy types came out. And um, the funny thing is that, like, I, I do believe that, you know, another typing will be coming out later on, hopefully in the next generation, hopefully in the next generation. But it does make sense if you have a sound type Pokemon. There are Pokemon that, you know, there are Pokemon that you know, will fit the description and all that stuff. The only problem is... The only problem is how how will it even it out? Like, how will it even out the whole battling, the, the stra strategies and all that stuff? You guys know what I'm talking about. And, uh... Well, one of my, my, one of my other questions is, is it, is it necessary to have it? Maybe that's a good... Maybe that's a good way, uh, a good topic for discussion right there. So comment down below, guys, if you think... The noise type or the sound type Pokemon should be introduced. I have seen it in um, I have seen it in Pokemon hat games. 
and uh, you know some of these hack uh, hack players or hack creators, they do they do do a good job of uh, what was it called um, of of even out evening out the the stats and whatever and like the type advantage and stuff. And uh, you know I just want you guys to take: is it necessary? Is it just a rumor? Is it just you know a good a good topic? But never, you know, come to be and all that stuff. Kind of like the other stuff that I talk about. Kind of like, uh, you know, the remakes of Pokemon X and Y, that, which hopefully will come in the next year or so. Probably. I don't even know. This year, I think it will be black and white. Who knows? We will see. And, uh, well, it looks like we're getting close to the item. And there it is. So here it is, guys. We found ourselves a dust stone. This is the stone that we need in order to evolve blade so it is finally time for us to evolve blade let's go after how many episodes we're finally evolving blade look at that uh well blade has been um, has been seeing a lot of action has been mooching a lot as of, as of lately but its final evolution uh it's a evolutionary form it's just a pretty badass thing and well look at this guys Say hello to this guy, Aegislash. I kind of almost want to call it Slash, but you know, this Pokemon is pretty cool. So, let's go ahead and take a look at our newest Pokemon. Final evolutionary form right here. We evolved quite a few of them. So here we go, Blade. As you guys can see, it has a new ability, which is sta uh, Stance Change. The Pokemon changes uh, form depending on how it battles. Don't know what it does with its stats, but it's whatever. But as you guys can see, its defense has gone through the roof. It is much more of a physical attacker than anything. But yeah, it is what it is. Now, if I guess it's when when it's in the attack form that it, it's a it's stance or it's a or its abilities or not its abilities, but its stats change. So let's go ahead and finish off this whole thing. I think there's like nothing else that we can do right here except just find more items. Let's see, I'm just pressing the A button, and we're not finding anything. So let's go right here. And... Well, we're going to be finding some Pokemon trainers. That's... Yeah, that's that's a definite right there. I think we've already defeated her. So I do see an item. Let's go ahead and uh, use a Max Repel. And... Let's go ahead and grab that item before we start battling anybody, including that dude. All right, so let's see. Going right here. Going uh, over there. Going this. And we're going to be using a Rock Smash. And just like that, we open up to now something else. Yeah, we're going to get attacked by another Pokemon. Oh, God. Here we are taking on a Graveler. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and get off. Yeah, let's go ahead and get off this and... Uh, now, let's see. Let's see what kind of move this is. Here we found ourselves the TM30 Shadow Ball, which can uh, that can actually work for my Aegis Slash right there. And, well, let's see. Is there anything else that we need to find right here? Probably. Uh, let's see. There are Pokemon Rangers, which, you know, let's go right ahead and let's go ahead and use two of our newest Pokemon, Evil Bacon and Blade. Alrighty. So, let's see. Bring it on. We're a pair of wanderers on a journey through the Kalos region with our trusty Pokemon. One of our favorite pastimes is to battle with the trainers we encounter on our journey. Pokemon are like treasure jewels strewn uh, through the land. It's in our it's in battle where we truly get a chance to shine. Ah. Okay, you don't say. So here we are taking on Fern and Lee, and she they will be coming out with the Nidos. Okay, the Nidos. So here we go, Evil Bacon, and uh, yes, Blade. Okay, so let's go with a Sacred Sword and try it out on Nido King, and try Oblivion Wing on Nido King. Well, let's go ahead and take away that guy. So here we go, Evil Bacon, Oblivion Wing, drain a lot of its energy, and Blade's stance change goes to attack mode right here, and here comes a Sacred Sword attack. And that is not effective. And here comes an Earth Power. That will hurt us. And Crap Baskets. Yeah. 
Okay, so yeah, we're we're yeah we <laughs> yeah that wasn't uh that wasn't thought out very well right there. So let's go right ahead and well let's go ahead and uh, revive our Pokemon. Actually, let's see. Let's use this. Let's use Surf on everybody, and then have Evil Bacon's turn be a revive for for a good old buddy Blade right here. So, let's go. Revive, and here comes a Surf Attack. Hits everybody, and Needle King has been defeated. Look at that. Okay, so Needle King is not loving us right now. It is okay. And everybody's getting some points. And, well, here comes a Body Slam. Who is he going to body Or who is she going to Body Slam? And bam, Jordan the Goat gets Body Slammed. All right. <sighs> Time to do what we do best. Let's go with a Leaf Blade onto this one and go with an Oblivion Wing. So let's go Oblivion Wing, Evil Bacon. And that right there will give us a little bit of a boost. And Needle King or Needle Queen is about to be defeated. And just like that, bam, we get poisoned. But we do win. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there it is, guys. We have defeated these guys, and, uh, well, that's a little bit more, uh, yeah, that's a little bit more of a victory for us than anything. So, let's go right ahead, and let's see. We got to heal up our Pokemon. So, Blade, how's it going? Uh, let's see. Where? Oh, yeah. We used up all of our, our full restores. I probably should have used it on, on uh, Jordan the Goat right here. And there we go. And go with this guy. And there we go. Okay, so some of our Pokemon are nice and healed. And this this way will lead us towards this item right here, which is an iron plate, which is always good. And from there... Yes, we're going to use another Repel because we don't want to get attacked by another Pokemon. Now, this will lead us towards this exit, which uh, will lead us to this room right here. Let's go ahead and start battling everybody that we can. Let's see. Alrighty, so here we are taking on Worker Yusuf, and he is coming out with a Prom Pass. And we're going to go with Blade right here. Okay, so let's try this again. Iron Head Attack. And here comes a stance change. And let's see what ends up happening. So here we go. Iron Head. Not so effective, but here comes a Zap Cannon. Now, I kind of want to check up on something right here, guys. If you take a look at Blade and check its summary, everything is in reverse now. Its defense, it, both its defenses go down, but its physical attack goes all the way up. So, let's see... Eventually, I'm going to have to teach it uh, King's Shield, I think. So let's go with the Sacred Sword attack right here. And bam! Sacred Sword for the win. Holy buckets. Okay, so that's that. And Evil Bacon grows a level 54. And yes, that's how we do it. We have defeated these guys right here. Alrighty. And, well, let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that. No. Nope. So as you guys can see right here. If you talk to this gentleman, he's going to be like, it must be dangerous to go further ahead unless you're as strong as the champion. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once you become the Pokemon League champion, you will be able to go into that room and you will be able to find yourself a pretty awesome Pokemon. And here we found ourselves a Reaper Cloth, which can be used by a specific Pokemon to evolve. So I think we've already done everything we needed to do. I know there's maybe a trainer here and there. Uh, a trainer here and there to, uh, what was it called, um, to battle, but we'll, we'll save that for another time, not do that, let's go ahead and use an escape rope, and here we are coming back to the real world, okay, so, I think that's pretty much it for our little episode right here, guys, actually, there is one more thing that I need to check up on, okay, can never be too sure, and that is... Oh, yeah, there is another entrance right here. And, there, yeah, there is a Pokeball right here. Grab this. Found ourselves a Max Ether. And let's 
go outside this entrance right here. I think there might be an item still. So here we are in Terminus Cave. And yes, use another repel. Here you'll be able to find this TM, and that is TM31 Brick Break. A very powerful fighting type move, which uh, you can teach to any kind of fighting type Pokemon or whoever can learn it and all that stuff. Anywho, that right there is it, guys. Let us not fly with this dude. Uh, oh, wow. He's not on our team. <laughs> Never mind. Let's go ahead and do, do it the hard way. Let's go ahead and uh, ride on our bike right here. It's been a while since we've been riding on our bikes. Anywho, we finally, uh, yeah, we finally did a, well, we did a lot of, a lot of great stuff right here, guys, in Coralway Town. And now, in our next adventure, we're going to be going straight to the next town, getting our next badge, probably winning another badge, uh, or probably winning the Elite Four and all that stuff. So, stay tuned. It's going to get very interesting, guys. I just want to say thank you from all the, from the bottom of my heart for being patient and for being as supportive as, as can be. I will be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.